Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft video and welcome here to my redstone testing world. This is where I test out a lot of my redstone contraptions and builds before I put them into my actual worlds. And in this episode, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my design for a super simple and easy to build uh, pickle farm for Minecraft 1.16 and above. And uh, you might ask, why would I need a pickle farm that's completely uh, redstone and automatic? And for me, uh, I, I built this farm up in my uh, survival world because I needed sea pickles for light sources for my underwater base. But there's all sorts of things that you can get from it because it is where you get lime dye from. So you can get lime wool, which you can make lime bed and lime carpet out of. You can turn uh, terracotta into lime terracotta and lime glaze terracotta as well. Lime stained glass, lime stained glass panes, and then lime concrete powder and lime concrete. And of course, lime dye for the banner. And you can see here at night that sea pickles are a great lighting source for underwater. And the best thing about them is that they're variable. So they start off at at a six light and then a nine when there's two of them and then a 12 and then a 15. So you can spurs these out underwater and create cool shadows and glows underneath the water for underwater bases. So this is why I needed a, a large amount of them in my survival world. So I built up this farm. Uh, so over here is the design. Uh, in the top, there's this chest that you can put bone meal in. You turn it on from this switch. Of course, you could hook that up to something automatic. And then everything gets collected down here below. And this is done by in the center there. You can see that there's one group of sea pickles that has a dispenser facing down on top of it. And when we bone meal that group of sea pickles, it spreads to these coral blocks that are out around it, even though they're not directly connected. And then on the off tick, which this repeater does, uh, this is the on tick, it fires this dispenser here. And then the off tick, a couple of ticks later, all of the pistons are fired down and they break any of the sea pickles that were created there. And normally you would have a problem with the coral turning to dead coral, but since we have water logged fence gates on the inside in there, that's not a problem. And then everything is picked up immediately by these hopper mine carts that are directly below each of the different coral blocks. And they go into the hoppers down here and it gets funneled into this chest. This is a, a quick test that I did when I built this up. I believe that this was just one stack of bone meal and you can imagine how, how quick and fast you can get a lot of sea pickles very quickly. What I'm going to do now is a full tutorial for everybody here, nice and quick as well, because this isn't too difficult of a farm to build. So the first thing that you want to do is attach hoppers to your chest coming out five hoppers long. And then you want to do three facing in from the side and then one in the middle. And we're creating sort of a star circle sort of pattern. And that is the general shape of the farm itself. Uh, that is gonna gonna cover all of the hoppers and everything that sit on top of it, the hopper minecarts. Next thing that we want to do is build up glass just around the outside of these so that we'll be able to place our hopper minecarts. Once you've got that all built up and you've got the glass around your hoppers, what you want to do is come into the middle here and place glass in a plus pattern. And then take normal rails and place them on each of the hoppers that is still exposed. And these are the ones that are going to get the minecart hoppers on top of them, which you can place on there now. Once you've got that built up, for this next step, you're gonna need some temporary blocks. And these are blocks that are just going to cover each of the different minecart hoppers while we put in the water. And it can't be the coral blocks because if you put out a, a coral block and it doesn't have water next to it, it's going to turn gray in a determined number of ticks. So we can't do that. It needs to be uh, temporary blocks. And then we need to place fence gates, one, two, three, four, and we need to waterlog them. So we take water and fill each one of these. And then what we need to do is take our coral and break these blocks and replace it with the coral block uh, immediately before the water is able to wash away the rail underneath the hopper minecart. And you can do this in 
survival is not too difficult. You just hold right click while you're mining and it'll replace it as soon as the block breaks. And then you've got something that looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to place one of the coral blocks in the middle as well. Now, after we've done that, we want to bring up the outsides of the farm to match the insides. We want to keep bringing this glass up the outside. Of course, this can also be any color that you like. I like to use lime green because I like to use glass in my farms and lime green denoted that this was a sea pickle farm, even though you can clearly see into it. It also doesn't matter what type of fence gates you use here. You could use whatever type you like, and you could also use whatever type of coral you like. It doesn't have to be the uh, tube coral, the blue. It can be any color. So now you want to bring up these fences one more level, and you want to waterlog each of them one more time. And then you want to waterlog the center, and you want to place a full set of sea pickles. It actually only needs to be one, but if you place four, it'll be faster when you first start up the farm in the center there. Now, the next thing that you need to do is place the pistons. So above each of these, these blocks, you need to face a piston going downwards, and it needs to be one lower than that. So it needs to be there. Uh, so you need to place that above all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the places where there are going to be uh, the different once we get in here there we go the different uh, spreadable blocks so this one we never break we only break the ones as they come out to here so place your eight pistons facing down one block above each of those uh, and then we move on to the next step all right once you've got all of your pistons facing downward in their eight positions on the outside what you need to do is you need to get a dispenser facing downwards in the center and for this you might need to take out some of the fence gates that you've got here just to get this facing downward and you can place those back in no problem so now you've got this dispenser facing downwards and then to one side of it you want to put a hopper facing into it with a chest on top so that you can load in lots of bone meal. Of course, you can make this storage much bigger than a single chest, but that's just a start. And then we want to fill in all of these gaps with glass. Again, doesn't have to be glass. Doesn't have to be doesn't have to be lime glass, but you do want it to be glass so that it doesn't transfer redstone to the pistons from the center here. Now the next thing that we need is to create the clock mechanism that works all of this. So we want to get an observer and face it upwards, uh, one block above the dispenser. So it's facing upwards like that. And then we want it to face into a redstone dust and then we'll, we'll move it out. So this redstone dust is what fires the dispenser. And then we want to go into a repeater on three ticks and then we want to run the redstone out and around to each of the pistons so that it can break all of the different blocks that are made on the outsides here collected and down now the very last thing that we need is a clock and there's a lot of different types of clocks that you can make but the easiest one that i find is usually just a little comparator clock based on a piston here so super simple you turn this on and it fires every four ticks because of that repeater there so we just need some solid blocks it can be anything that you like and of course you can hook this up to any other type of clock that you like as well you can't go too fast just because of the the update order but usually not a problem to do any type of clock that you like so redstone around repeater four ticks dust and then just a lever to activate it over here and put it on negative so that it goes in a clock and this farm is completely done we just need to get some bone meal and pop it in our chest over here and it will flow into the dispenser and then we can get this farm going. I can speed this up by just moving the bone meal into there. And then I can fire this up and it will go, go, go. And if you look really closely, you can see 
it just at the right second creates sea pickles and they get broken and they are as fast as they can flowing into this chest down here. So this, this, this farm right here will make as much sea pickles as you could ever need on a Minecraft world. Uh, super simple to build. I also built a version of it that is twice the size, but again, it's, it's, it's just unnecessary. Uh, you run this farm for 30 minutes an hour and you have enough to light up an entire base. Uh, even if you have a multiplayer server, you could make enough for, for all of your friends with this simple of a farm. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a quick uh, list together of all of the different items that you will need. And I'm going to pop them in a chest down here and then I will show that to you. And here we go. This is all the items that you will need to build the farm. Nine coral blocks of any kind, nine pistons, 14 hoppers, an observer, two repeaters, a comparator, a lever, eight fence posts, eight rails, 21 redstone dust, and then you'll need some building blocks of any kind. You'll need at least one sea pickle to get it started. You'll need water. Uh, water source will do fine with one bucket. Uh, you'll need glass for the outside, or you could even make it solid and put a pattern on it if you want, just building blocks. And I used three chests, but you could use any number of chests that you want in order to expand the storage. So I let this go. That was one stack of bone meal, made almost two stacks of sea pickles, and it did it in about a minute. So really fast farm. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a comment down in the comment section to let me know what you think of the video. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be having lots of videos coming out in the future and I will see you in the next one. Bye.